Stretching over a huge portion of the South American continent, the world's largest and most biodiverse rainforest is full of surprises. As mysterious as it is breathtaking, the Amazon remains one of the most written about and studied ecosystems on Earth. Two and a half million square miles, to be precise. The world's largest rainforest can be found across nine Latin American countries, which are Brazil, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname and the French Guiana. For some more perspective, Amazon is twice the size of India and over half the size of USA. The Amazon is one of the world's richest and most varied ecosystems, home to over 16,000 different species of trees, 40,000 plant species, 3,000 fish species, 1,300 bird species, 430 mammals and an amazing 2.5 million different insect species. 80% of the varieties of food we get across the world origin in the Amazon rainforest. These include oranges, lemons, avocados, coconuts, grapefruits, mangoes, and pineapples. In addition to being home to thousands of different tree and animal species, the Amazon rainforest is also inhabited by 400 to 500 indigenous tribes. It is estimated that over 50 of these tribes have never had contact with the outside world, showing that there are still parts of the Amazon that remain untouched. For generations, Amazonia, which spans more than 2 million square miles, was a reliable carbon sink, meaning that it naturally absorbed high levels of carbon dioxide from the air and it played an important role in keeping the global environment stable. However, in recent decades, humans have increasingly contributed to the degradation of the Amazon, upsetting a crucial natural balance. In a study published in the journal Nature, Scientists who conducted this research over a period of nine years in the eastern Amazon forests have said that a significant amount of deforestation in eastern and southeastern Brazil has turned the forest into a source of CO2 that has the ability to warm the planet. The team used an aircraft to fly above the Amazon to measure the carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide over several areas of the Brazilian rainforest from 2010 to 2018. They found that fires produced around 1.5 billion tons of carbon dioxide per year on average, while new growth could only account for removing around 0.5 billion tons. Researchers who routinely tested the atmosphere at four areas in Amazonia twice a month over a nine-year period found that not only are carbon emissions higher in the eastern areas of the rainforest than in the western areas, but that the southeastern area is putting more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere than it absorbs. The eastern Amazon is a hot spot of deforestation to facilitate logging and agriculture including cattle ranches. Amazon has lost a big part of its size as recent years because of deforestation to create the Trans-Amazonian Highway. A drastic amount of vegetation is cleared constantly for cattle grazing and crop production. Probably even faster than you think. A depressing 1.5 acres of the Amazon vanishes every single second and with it an average of 137 species become extinct each day. From this chart, we can see that from 2012 onwards, the rate of deforestation is increasing. When the forest is degraded and suffers the impact of deforestation, the trees actually reduce their net CO2 storage capacity. They become less efficient in absorbing CO2 simply because they're weaker, because they die sooner. 
What upsets the balance most of all, however, are the emissions from wildfires. We know that when forests go up in flames, they emit large quantities of carbon monoxide and dioxide. In addition to deforestation and fires, the study says the rise in emissions from the Amazon has been accelerated by warming temperatures and moisture stress during the dry season. The eastern areas have less moisture than the west during already difficult dry periods, which now have become drier and have lasted longer due to climate change. For example, the dried out wetlands and compacted soils that result from extensive logging often increase nitrous oxide emissions, and fires used to clear land for livestock and agriculture release particles of soot called black carbon that absorb sunlight and cause localized warming. Scientists predict that the rainforest may reach its tipping point by 2025. We still have a window, small as it may be. We must protect those parts of the Amazon rainforest that still haven't reached their tipping point. What's happening to the Amazon rainforest? Wildfires in California and Sardinia. Canadian heat waves. Flooding in Germany, Netherlands, China, India, and Nigeria. All prove to us that we're all united in the struggle against climate change. We're citizens of the world, and we're universally affected by major crisis.